Welcome to Crushing Brevard. Um, we have with us today John Salati and Leah Ricci Salati. I got that perfect. Got yeah. Excellent. All right. Got it right. I butcher names on this. It's one of the things that uh, that makes this a, a show is that I butcher the guest names usually. But um, and they own um, Nunzi's Woodfire Cuisine food truck. That's right. And among other things. So we'll, we'll talk about all that stuff. But um, the format here, like we talked, we uh, talked a little bit, is then just kind of tell us why you're how you ended up here, uh, things you like about here. We'll talk about your business. We'll talk about your other businesses because that's some interesting stuff we were talking about here a little bit ago. And um, anything you want to highlight about the food truck and the business. And, Perfect. Yeah. And then uh, we'll go from there. So why don't you give us a little introduction of yourselves. So John, you want to start? Hello, uh, my name is John Slotty. <laughs> um, we, uh, of course, we own Nunzi's Woodfire Cuisine. Uh, we love the area here in Brevard and we're growing into it. I moved here um, not that long ago, about six years ago when I married Lee. I used to, I was living in Orlando and came over to the Space Coast and uh, it's been great ever since then. And Leah? Oh, well, I came from Argentina when I was 18. We, with my whole family, we landed in Miami. And then Miami got a little bit difficult in the sense of craziness. So my sister moved here and we loved it. It's just a paradise that we're here. So I moved here with my family. I was here for a while and then he showed up. <laughs> yeah, so um, you, we were talking earlier and you, you said you, you played a little bit of hockey. Yes, so that's right. To tell, tell us about that because, you know, the, the hockey's new to Florida, I guess, sort of. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah. I'm from the north, so we're, exactly. we're hockey crazy up there. But. I, I actually lived a lot of places. I grew up in, um, in Erie, Pennsylvania, and then when I was 15, I left Erie to go play hockey. I played in Buffalo for a year, and then I went to Ontario. I played in Ontario, and then I played in Quebec. I played uh, Ontario Hockey League and Quebec Major Junior. And then finally, my first, I went to the East Coast League, which is you know similar to the Solar Bear League. And that was in Mississippi. And that was my first experience ever being in, in the South out of the snow. And it was just the coolest thing in the world to not have snow all year round. <laughs> so ever since then, I said to myself, well, when I'm done playing hockey, I'm living in the South. I'm tired of this, the snow. <laughs> so, so that's kind of how I ended up in the South. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, and so, you, you, so you were actually like, you said, did you play for Buffalo? Or in no, Buffalo? I played in Buffalo. I played. In, uh, it was. I was 15. I went oh, to. Okay. Uh, it was like a prep school up there that had a really good hockey team. So I got like a recruiter or whatever to go play there. Okay. And then from there it was uh, Ontario. I was um, outside Toronto area, and then I, it was all over really Ontario. Forward defenseman. Defense. Yeah. Defense. Okay. Defense. Yeah, you're you're the right size for a defenseman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> uh, so let, let's let's talk a little bit about the food truck because uh, Nunzi's wood fired cuisine. So. Um, Tell us about the cuisine part, like what, what yeah. kind of food you, you make, what kind of food you like to make, uh, things you're maybe planning to add in, things like that. Definitely. So. That, well, I mean, the big part of the food truck was we've always, we started with the pizza and the pizza has been the main core of everything, but we mm -hmm. wanted to showcase the, actually, I mean, we, we have the wood burning oven and the flavor of food produced from that wood, just a pure, simple wood flavor, natural flavor, and you can't get beaten or anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So. We wanted to showcase that and make it more of the just the pizza you know i mean our food's been a major it's i mean with a lot of people it's, it's your culture it's where you come from so my family came over from italy and uh like they said they opened up the restaurant that's where nunzi's came from from my, my the last name annunziata and just like leah here food was always the center as italian americans <laughs> yep. as immigrants you know we they, it was always a central part of the culture. It was how it was passed down year, I mean, from generation to generation. And we wanted to build on that. We don't want to just be pizza. And the last thing we wanted to do was just have, we don't go to the store to buy, uh, you know, random products and just, just make the pizza, just make the product. We want, there's a lot that goes behind it. And that's, and that's our family to yours. And that's, that's kind of what we wanted to focus on, the, especially with the, uh, with the Argentinian cuisine, the asado the uh, the meat cooked out of there and we want to showcase that too so we we step by step build the product and build the that's why it's the cuisine and not just the pizza okay so it, but it you you were, you were you're talking about um the the ingredients and stuff and how yeah. crucial those are like describe the process of picking yeah. picking ingredients or yeah. using ingredients or i need uh leah to kind of rein me in here because okay. i get out of control with everything <laughs> it, it, uh, it, actually, okay. it actually started a while ago we know uh, it, there was it was we we saw different processes in place where a lot of where some producers or some uh, uh food trucks or whatever they just you get in just random stuff from like 
you know, uh, uh, the stores or whatever and put it together. But we wanted to separate a little bit and, and really put a lot into where our product comes from. And, and I do that with my diet. So like, for example, my diet, I, I want to know where my meat comes from. I want to know where my produce comes from. So if, if, if I put that much into what I eat, I can't serve that to somebody. I can't serve some, some subpar stuff to somebody else. If that makes sense. So, yeah. for example, I know I know my flour comes from a company I, I believe in from Utah. They're from, and that's I wanted that flour. My tomatoes, I, I want this comes from a company out in California, mm -hmm. and I so I want each of my each of the products we get, we want to know where they come from, and if we get as much local stuff as we can, but I mean, you know, so you're not growing a lot of tomatoes and no, flour, so. no, and, and that's so that's something we found here is that people really appreciate. If they come back again for the same dish, it tastes the same. And I think having those controls over your yeah. ingredients gives you a really good chance of getting a repeatable, a great repeatable um, experience for the customer. Yeah. Um, where can people find Nunzi's? We we uh. Or do, do you have a like a web page you can go? They can we go do. To? We okay. do. We have uh, Instagram. Okay. Uh, it's Nunzi's WCF. Okay. No, WFC. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> WFC. Two different things. Yeah, it's okay. Changed it's my, okay. Yeah. My order of things. Yeah, that's okay. And also we're on Facebook with a whole name. Okay. Yeah, we'll, and we'll put links and links in the description, like we say. Yes. So, um, yeah, just scroll down a little bit, and you can see uh, see all the links and find out where you can get this this amazing food. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but I'm going to. That's the nice thing about doing these things. Yeah. Is we talk to some people, I'm like, yeah. that sounds really good. I want to do that. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> so, um, it's kind of like the theme of, you know, not to get too deep down no. this rabbit hole, but it's kind of the theme of our, like ours or whatever. We don't, we to, to a fault almost, we don't go the easy way with things, you know? Like it, it could have been so much easier to get like the dough balls pre-made and it's controlled and the, the cheese controlled and, and every, all these controlled things, but we don't, we don't go the easy way on the process. And that's kind of where it, I pull out my hair most of the time and she'll tell you like, there's, I need it to be perfect. It's not perfect. I'm there and my, my, I'll start maybe swearing or whatever. But <laughs> there's, it's such a, it's kind of a high standard. Those are but, our babies. Yeah. No, so that's, that's, that's good. That's wanna... a good point too that you bring. I don't mean to keep going or whatever, yeah. but the, um, I call it, we use a sourdough, right? Mm -hmm. So I got three starters and I call them our babies. So mm -hmm. I always tell Leah, Leah, can you please feed the babies for me? Yeah, so, those are our babies. Yeah. And, and one thing I wanted to say before we switch yeah. gears uh, regarding to what he's been saying right now. Yeah. Uh, when we were experimenting and, and this dream putting it together, he said something to me that really stuck. And as a consumer, and I have a couple of degrees in business, it, to me, it just stayed in my head. It, once he was frustrated yeah. because he made the most delicious pizza, but it wasn't perfect. Okay. Because he will never be perfect. Right. Yeah. Because he's always looking for perfection. Mm -hmm. And he was in his frustration. He said, oh, I just don't want to serve anything that they can find anywhere else. Okay. And to me, that was it. That's not something yeah. unique, yeah. something that you don't find anywhere else, and something you can trust. Yeah. So. That's awesome. No, that's yeah. I, I love it. I think that's, that's I'm look, so looking forward to trying this because it's so much care goes into it. Yeah. Um, you've been doing the food truck for how long now? A couple of years. Yes. Couple of years. Yes. Couple, couple of years. years. Okay. Yeah. Uh, before that or during that, I guess, because you're still doing these other things. What do, what do you guys do uh, when you're not food trucking? Um, well, I've uh, I've been um, I, I work uh, for the local uh, hospital on the uh, helicopter rescue team, so I'm oh. an I'm an RN and a paramedic. Oh wow! Okay. So on the uh, on the flight team, I also work uh, still in Orlando in their ICU. Okay. For the trauma ICU, and um, I just I've been doing that now. I've been in. It started the fire. I started the fire department originally, and that was uh, 18 years ago actually. And then I got paramedic, and then kept my paramedic and became an RN and that's where I kind of progressed through to the EMS and the flight services and everything. That's how I ended up over in Brevard too. All right, so you're, you're the guy riding the, um, you're, you're not hanging out the door, but you're the first guy probably out the door when you land or one of the first guys out the door when you go to? There's a, yeah, there's a crew of two of us okay. uh, and, then the, and then the pilot. Yeah. And um, so if there's, you know, we respond to the car wrecks, the stabbings, or we go hospital to hospital transfers. Okay. And, uh, well, why would, now why would somebody, is it just they're, they're not, I don't know, I don't want to say not stable because they wouldn't send them if they weren't stable, but is it, why would you take a hel hel helicopter versus um, 
just going in an ambulance if you're going to hospital to hospital? Um, well, we were called for the, um, obviously the quicker. Of yeah. It. It's yeah. Um, definitely quicker to go by air. Yeah. And then some of the other services that we provide on there with the, we carry just different, you know, blood product. Well, we carry blood products, whole oh. blood, plasma. Okay. okay. And we also have, uh, you know, for uh, the IV infusion medications or ventilators as well for more of the complex medical patients that we huh. care for. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I, my dad had a liver transplant, gosh, it was 20 some years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, he, they flew him in a helicopter down and I couldn't figure out like, why didn't they just stick him in the back? It was oh, yeah. so like an hour and a half drive or a oh, 20 yeah. minute, you know. It's, it's the level of, we have a lot of advanced training too as well. So okay. we carry especially, you have to be, normally you're, you have to be an EMS or whatever, or RN for so, so many years before you apply for the flight team. Mm -hmm. And then we carry a lot of like advanced certifications or whatever. Like I've had my uh, board certifications or whatever for critical care, for um, trauma, for flight medicine, for emergency medicine. So those, a lot of those extra certifications can help out or whatever for more of the critical patients that we take care of. A weird story with the, yeah. uh, with the email. So I was at the fire department. It's kind of a weird story. I was at the fire department. You, you have a, you're an EMT and then you become a paramedic, right? Yeah. So the EMT, I failed like multiple times. Like I got down to my last thing of failing <laughs> to pass the EMT. Right. And then there, and then, so you do, you're an EMT for a year at the fire department. This was in Myrtle Beach. And then I'm like, I'm going to go to paramedic school. And everybody's like, you're going to fail out of paramedic school. <laughs> no and I actually, I, I blew, since then I like rock, I, I blew like, for paramedic school, I went like six months without missing a question on a test. Oh, nice. hundred percent, hundred percent. So I was yeah. by far top of the class. And I carried that over into my RN or whatever, where I passed, like I, I did two years worth of schooling where you, there's a bridge program, so mm -hmm. you test out on your own. Okay. So I did that in like 10 months. Oh, nice. So I blew, I excelled at all that stuff because it's, I, I don't know. I just had a knack where a lot of the, the medical stuff came very easy for me. I, I wanted to be. I always wanted to be a trauma surgeon. Okay. And that didn't work out. Well, you know. But I'm, I'm happy where I'm at now. I, yeah. So. I, 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 for those people who know me, um, yeah, needles aren't my friend. Oh, so yeah. I would never even be, I couldn't do anything like that. Okay. How about you, Leah? What do you do in your uh, not not spare time, but your other time? Uh, never a spare time. <laughs> uh, There's no spare time. No. Um, well, I'm an interpreter. Oh, okay. Level three yeah. for a company that is the biggest company in the U.S. And I really enjoy it. Okay. Because it's giving a voice to people that don't have a voice. Okay. In both languages. Yeah. And uh, well, I got here to Miami when I was 18. It mm. was extremely hard to learn English in Miami and being an adult. Yeah. It was two things combined. So yeah. I went to school okay. and that's what I learned. I practice and then eventually, you know, you do jobs doing, you know, call centers, whatever it might be, insurance. Mm -hmm. I did many years of insurance, retail. And then I met him okay. and we started uh, all this idea and unfortunately last year I got really sick with COVID. Okay. So that would, I had to put a slow down, a break on my life mm -hmm. because it was um, a lot and I didn't learn how to process it somehow. You're an adult, sometimes you don't know, you don't know how to process things. Mm -hmm. You need to reset yourself and filter so then you can focus on what you want. Yeah. And well, we reset it everything. Okay. So well, yeah, no, that's, that's a similar story with, uh, for those people that know, know me. We did the same thing. Like I used to work at med, in, in a medical device company as a quality manager. And my wife is just like, you don't seem to be happy. What do you want to do? And I'm like, I want to live at the beach. And then now we're here. So, <laughs> you know, well, yeah. the type of thing we just kind of... I have the tendency to go ahead and wind myself up. I guess it's the Italian in me. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. So I was always like on top of everything, which didn't mean yeah. that I was on top of everything. Yeah. I was yeah. bugging everybody around me more yeah. than anything. But before I torture him and everybody around me, I torture myself, Yeah. which we do a lot. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was amazing. And it was a great experience for yeah. us as a marriage to this business was a blessing for us. Yeah, you come together and you work yeah. towards a goal together. And, yeah. Yeah. and we, we got to know each yeah. other like different levels of each yeah, other. Yeah, you see a different side know. of it. Oh, nice, yeah. Because you have to improvise and you have questions and you're like, whoa, you blew my mind with yeah. that. And oh, you, you just did that? I can't believe it. Yeah. And it's sometimes rediscovering the person you have 
next to you that you thought you knew. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, you're yeah, could probably a completely different person when you're in the helicopter yeah, yeah. Or when you're making pizza. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Although you, you want to do a good job at both of them. Anyway, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, and it was it was insane yeah. because when I met him, uh, he was a hero to me. I'm like, whoa, this guy, like he's mm -hmm. a hero helicopter, Superman. Mm -hmm. He was Superman. And then I remember he told me the story that he was when he happened pulse, he mm -hmm. was uh, in charge of uh the er that the night i see you trauma the ICU, I see you. sorry yeah. oh wow okay and to me that was um what was that like you get a, you get <laughs> that, a phone call that, and I, it was <laughs> holy cow the, the ironic thing is is i'm more calm in the medical than i am with the, the pizza <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah i remember the, yeah that night was it was uh it, yeah we it wasn't expecting it i we had the i had a call from the the supervisor or whatever talked and said about what was happening and i didn't believe it but i i had a great group of great crew of people that i worked with there in orlando mm -hmm. at ormc trauma icu yeah and um i said hey get get ready this is what's happened we gotta be on our game here and uh we we all just went to work like we do I how, mean, so how many people did they send you um i can't even count i don't know uh, we oh, had um oh. Because not everybody came up to the trauma yeah, ICU, yeah. so our my job that night was I was just kind of, um, you know, making room and making sure all the, the beds were available for everybody. And I, just, I don't know how many came up that night. To be Holy cow! Yeah, but it was a lot. We that had must a, have been just terrifying. Yeah, I can't even. Yeah, everybody came together, and it all we all worked through it, and it was it was great. It was we did it. Well, we made the best. Um, crazy, so definitely. crazy. So I'm sorry. Let's go yeah. back. We did. We kind of. We shorted. We oh, shorted no, no, your no, thing here a little sorry. bit. So that, that's when no, I the, saw him as a human being. Yeah. Because to me, it was Superman. Yeah. So experiences like that that we both went through, mm -hmm. uh, language barriers in my my aspect that made me wanted to be what I'm today. Yeah. Because I was there, so I'm helping people that were there. That you know, I was sorry. Not. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't understand English. Yeah. So now I talk to people that don't speak Spanish or don't speak English, and I can be the conduit of that okay. and give a voice. Yeah. And I love that in customer service, it's very important to do that too. That's also part of my background. Mm -hmm. And when he's craziness for food, I think that's a service we try to, yeah. to provide, communication, trust, being friendly, being trustworthy delivering what we promised mm -hmm. and for people to come back to us yeah no i i, I love it so he, i'm sure he speaks fluent spanish he took the time no. to learn and you uh, wouldn't believe it yeah. he, no I, he understands i try than, so hard no he yeah. understands more than he yeah. says when i call him yeah. to do something he doesn't speak spanish but when i'm talking to my sister about him oh he understands it all yeah yeah, he, he, yeah so for some reason he can yeah. pick up those words really yeah. good yeah no that's but, that's that's a common thing it's like uh, you know, my, my wife tells me that, you know, I, guy, hey, can you go clean the bathroom and I'll do it. And she's like, this is awful. You're never doing this again. I'm like, right. Yeah, perfect. right. Don't, don't yeah. Give my perfect. Yeah. <laughs> don't give there's, my there's a lot of that we understand, though, about culture in the sense where her, I mean, her family's all Italian. Yeah, that's, Mine's all that's Italian, funny so. that you're, you're Canadian. No, well, I'm American. I lived in Canada. Oh, I'm sorry. I lived in Canada, but yeah. You, you got the little, you got the little... Little Canadian bit. accent things I going on, so I, I think notice. I don't know. Really? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let we'll let people judge on their own. That's fine. But okay. I, I was picking up a little Canadian, but huh. maybe, maybe it's, it's just hockey. northern. Yeah, yeah, the hockey thing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, and you're Argentinian. I was born in Argentina. Yeah. And yeah, what, yeah. I know what. But you're both from Italy. It's just yeah. Yeah, yeah it, so. it's just because they stayed like all of our because it was our grandparents right so our grandparents and then to our parents they all married italian and all mm -hmm. kept italian so right. we've, we've there's a lot we understand um, for, i i wish i wish i could speak it but leah can speak it much better than i can but you do italian too I do a little bit yeah. oh, no, the, gosh, yeah. i have to practice a lot but i can understand i do a little I bit i do prego and grazie uh, and that's it you i know. just swear i could just that's swear. It. <laughs> that's all I do. he does all the time yeah. no it's very similar to the argentinian because yeah. uh, uh the, the spanish we speak in argentina is mm -hmm. a dialect okay. between yeah. spanish from spain and Italy, italian mm -hmm. so the accent is so close to italian we do the little singing and everything yeah. when we speak okay so but the, the thing yeah. that that i think he was gonna say yeah. It's just coming from two different backgrounds, mm -hmm. completely different yeah. experiences. Mm -hmm. Since we met, we just look at each other. We know exactly what's going on. Oh, yeah, nice. Get like it, yeah. not even things need to be said or attitudes or faces or stuff that I never imagined him doing like, oh, you know, when you fight or like, yeah. oh, and, and other things that 
we just it, it feels like we've known each other forever. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So have you have you guys nice. been back to Italy together? No, no, we want to. Yeah. Okay. We would like to. Well, that would be a problem. Out, yeah. We would stop. I wouldn't be able to see any scenic because it would be every restaurant. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you say it like it's a bad thing. That yeah. sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> cool. No, I mean, I, I will get more weight. So. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. he works it out. Yeah. Yeah. No, so it, it's, Italy it's actually crazy. part of, um, you know, because we're spread out over Italy where our mm-hmm. ancestors are from. And okay. I'm part, part of my family's from Naples, part is from Sicily, but there's also part of my family that's from northern Italy. Okay. And that's where my name, that's where the last name Cilati, Cilati came from, Texas Cilati. But there's a town called Di Chila in Italy, and that's where the name came from. That's in northern Italy. Okay. And we still have uh, relatives around. Yeah, there. we do. I have a lot yeah. of family there. My yeah. family is Ricci on the other side. We were by the side of Rome and northern Valdosta in Switzerland, yeah. my grandmother. Okay. And uh, we have yeah. tons of cousins. There's actually a street called Ricci going by the Coliseum. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And my grandfather, I mean, we're devoted Catholics, yeah. both of us. And... Yeah. Um, my grandfather was really close friends with Padre Pio. He was a saint now that used to have the stigmata. He was mm-hmm. very, very yeah. known okay. worldwide. And Padre Pio told my my grandfather, don't go to Argentina. That's exactly what he did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it took me yeah. longer to get here, but yeah. I got here. Yeah. So, But we have like roots there, yeah. like serious. Oh, now it just sounds like you'd have to, it'd have to be like a two or three week deal to oh, hit like, all the family. Yeah. Cause you're, we might not come back. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's this, that's, yeah. My, my daughter went, um, she was in, was she in, Swiss? no, she was in Northern Italy. Um, and she was at some school where she basically played board games with people and talked English with them. Oh, yeah. That was her job. And they fed her, and she got to wander around northern Italy for a while. Nice. And she just thought it was beautiful. Yeah. And I've, I've been to Turin, Torino? Yeah. Torino. And then um, Rome, and we went to Naples just to see Pompeii. We didn't spend a lot of time in Naples. We took the bus from Rome to Pompeii and then back. So it's not, they're not exactly the same place, but they're pretty close, right? Like Naples and Pompeii. It's not that far away, right? Uh, I'm not sure, yeah, but uh, it's both in that. It's, pretty close. it's right by that yeah. huge yeah. volcano yeah. that yeah. could shoot yeah. off at yeah. any He's, second. Yeah. But Bombay, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. Impre- it's uh, impressive. Yeah. yeah. Oh it's no. Well, yeah. Well, I hope you hope you get a chance to get over there soon. Yeah. That's, that yes, sounds like that's within the plan. Yeah, yes. yeah definitely. <laughs> Free time. Let's say you guys have free time. Okay. What, what do you What do you like to do around here? Do you, are you beach people? Do we've you rest. surf? Are we, you you sleep? Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, it's uh, what do we? I don't. I, well, I, I work out a lot. I mean, that's he works she, out. She gets mad. But no, no. What <laughs> I have happens to do it every is, day, uh, or it's a problem. He, his job is very stressful. Yeah. The nature of it, mm-hmm. uh, hospital environment, you know, helicopters. So his brain is always alert. So in right. the only the only way he can let out a little bit of that steam is he goes plays plays hockey yeah. or works out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And me is mostly I want to rest. I want to sleep. I'm still recovering mm-hmm. from what happens. So yeah. I try to relax more. One never stops his conversations about the business. Yeah. Never. Because yeah. there's always one next thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and for us, it's fun because it's our babies, yeah. you know, and, and it's so much that we put on it and we want to make of this. Yeah, it's kind of like an obsession. All, I mean, unfortunately, yeah. it's, 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 it's like the first time no? of the day, but it didn't okay. last time, but. but we love the beach. We go for cruises. We like to go out of town. And oh, nice. Relax. So you, do you go up to Cat Canaveral and pick up the cruise? From, you said cruises, no, right? No, no, we cruising, just drive no, around. Cruise. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. We, we do road trips. Okay. Uh, gotcha. We like to explore. Like, for example, the last trip we've had was my my Christmas present. Okay. Uh, we oh. went to Tampa to meet koalas because that's oh, yeah. my thing. Oh, I nice. love koalas. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So we do a little trip there and you know relax. We yeah. like to explore new places, <laughs> get ideas. Yeah, we're we're so centrally located here. We're yeah. You know, Everything. three hours from Miami and. Everything. Two and a half from Tampa, and just yeah. you get Orlando's an hour away. You can get yeah. to Savannah in four. It's not correct. Yeah. We're, we're, and we like to go around and try new restaurants too. That, we okay. do too. That. Eat, yeah. Now, do you eat mainly Italian restaurants, or you just no, go no, we, anywhere? We, we, we try go, everything. Yeah, everything. Okay. We don't really eat a lot of Italian restaurants. Uh, it, well, it's a. Shall we say it? It's ha- it's hard to yeah. do it's because a you're like disappointed yeah. because. Yeah. We have our way to make in the Italian mm-hmm. food. So, yeah. Yeah. so when we go somewhere and we order a lasagna, yeah. right? Uh, it's not gonna come up to standard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I totally, I totally, I totally 
thought that that was going to be the answer was you don't eat at Italian yeah, places because no. you, if you're going we to eat go Italian like you make your sushi. own yeah we go to like sushi and we love going to sushi we okay. love yeah sushi and, uh, you've been to Haru over uh, here uh, no, no. We've been to, no. Beachside, yes. Yeah. We have oh, a lot yeah, of like another little place yeah, we that we go to. Uh, to uh, I don't know if you can say it. That's a, yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ir- Irish and Palm Bay is more our favorite. And then there's okay. one on uh, uh, 192 we go to a bunch too. Okay. Uh, umami. Uh, umami, yeah. Umami, okay. Yeah, yeah no, I've, I've, I've been to that one. That's yeah. good. But yeah. And we, we go everywhere. Um, I yeah. don't know. That's about it. Yeah. We, we just like to yeah. to try yeah. things. Yeah. Because you can always incorporate something. Yep. So you can yeah you can always say yeah. hey this this would work with this yeah yeah, yeah exactly right. are you uh, the, the the food truck is that the end goal is the end goal having a standalone place have you not thought that Sky's far the ahead limit. as yeah. many trucks as yeah. we can as right. many places yeah. as we can I mean if we want to spread yeah. this we, because we love it yeah definitely I think the uh, brick and mortar would be the end goal okay yeah definitely. well we're looking forward to, yeah. Yeah. to to your future success i can't wait to eat the yeah. pizza definitely. and yeah. i'm sorry the cuisine <laughs> yes. that includes pizza <laughs> yeah. I'm, a, I'm a pizza yeah. holic. like i just love pizza so um yeah no just this is awesome and I'm, I'm, please uh everybody check out the the instagram and the and the and from all the other links that we'll have down there and we'll find it we'll be tracking nunzi's uh wood-fired cuisine truck around town and and we'll be groupies we'll make sure you can't leave without giving us our food so we love it thank you you. thanks for your time we appreciate it thank you